Good morning, Bob. Beavis, you were out here howling first thing this morning. Bob's just now showing up. Yeah. <laughs> I just missed them flying down. What a bummer. Are they going to check up on number three? Is she still over there in the nest? Hey, number one, how about fertilizing that daffodil while you're there? That uh, tree stump right there is the nest. Number three was in there for a while earlier. from Bobblehead Homestead. Today is Friday. I am Jeff. The footage you just saw was from yesterday, Thursday. So yeah, picked up trash, did some more of that this morning, did some more of that yesterday afternoon. Uh, yeah, you just can't run the camera all day. Although maybe I can now. I did make it to the P.O. box. Uh, I don't even remember when. And I'll be going again soon. But I just, this talk <laughs> I want to give is that I just can't say thank you enough. I just, I just can't say thank you enough. There have been so many people helping me out uh, over the past couple years to help me get to this point. And, you know, the, <laughs> this, uh, 
this isn't for everybody. <laughs> Not everybody would want to be in this situation, but I am very thankful that that I can sit here on my own piece of land and, you know, do what I want for the most part and enjoy it and live cheaply. So, uh, I got a couple gifts this week and I want to share them with you because I can't say thank you enough to everybody who has been helping me out and helping me get to this point. And it was, uh, well, I'll stop rambling. So, a truck pulled up, and it was in a bigger box than this, uh, but I, I went ahead and opened it. So I'm like, alright, what, what's in here? What's in this little box? And here, in, inside the, a big box is a little box, inside the little box is another little box, but what is it? <laughs> uh, it is a battery for my camera. And there was no note or anything, but I'm guessing it came from the same guy who sent me the camera. And so this camera I am thankful for. I got some compliments on the video footage. Uh, so this camera has just been awesome and it's just helped in so many different ways. And now when I'm out, you know, filming a half an hour or hour long picking up trash or cutting brush or whatever, if I don't fully charge the battery, well, the battery's going to run out. And it did that the other day. So I think that that might have been the impetus for, uh, for this. But that was my own fault that the battery ran out. These cameras are great. And it's, uh, I forget which camera it is. But uh, it's a Canon. Maybe I'll put that in the description below if anybody's wondering what kind of camera. So, and that's actually a bigger battery, so it'll last like three hours versus two hours on the other one. And so, another, another very great, thoughtful gift. <laughs> Something else that came. Freesia bulbs. These are interesting. And, uh, coming out of Coloma, Michigan, it says, but... Uh, so I've got two 21 bulbs and they're mixed so I've got some I've got some learning to do about freesia <laughs> and this and it, it came with a note that uh, they had planned on putting these out but then they learned that you got to dig them up in the fall uh, because they won't last through the winter and so they said they're not for them but maybe I could use them and 100 pack of gladiolas so <laughs> these are going to be going into the ground here uh, I gotta find a place to put them I gotta find a place to put them where do you put a hundred gladiolas maybe I put them in ten different places I don't know but I welcome your suggestions on they need full sun so I don't have a lot of choices but these will go in somewhere, and then this fall, maybe they'll multiply. I don't know what I'll, what I'll end up doing with them this fall. But, uh, but thank you. 100 pack, pack of gladiolas. That's just unbelievable. Okay, and this next gift was just... Uh, <laughs> I can't say thank you enough. And it's... Um, I'm speechless. I'm just speechless at how this is going to help me. This came, and I hope they don't mind me mentioning it, but this came from Doug and Ashley and Bell and Maverick over at Out in the Country. Uh, if you if you're not subscribed to their channel, you really really need to do so. They they just got a new to them homestead. Uh, it has an old, a really like hundred year old school building on it that is you know it's just a shell and uh, acres of property that they're having to clear a bunch of brush and just a great family to watch their progress and their hard workers and it's just uh, I've enjoyed their their channel since I came across it so go have a look at out in the country and they sent me another very thoughtful and very useful gift and I just I'm I'm floored. 
it's unbelievable. <coughs> Well, if you're getting a hint, these are the blades for it. <laughs> Cordless DeWalt reciprocating saw kit. And I just, I can't tell you how wonderful this is going to be. I've just, I've got the chainsaw. Most of the little stuff I'm cutting is like two inches, and this will do it. And the chainsaw is corded. So it's, um, you know, if I'm going to go through the work of getting out the extension cords and running them 200 feet this way or 200 feet that way and using the chainsaw, then I want to I wanna be able to use that chainsaw and get my efforts worth. And some days that I don't, I don't know, I may get started and a half an hour later my body says stop. So... With this, I can go out and do 10 minutes at a time, 20 minutes at a time when I'm up to it. And I just, um, oh, I can't believe how useful this is going to be. So I'm going to have, that's, that's the only way I can say thank you enough is by showing you through my efforts that this is going to be incredible. And the other day I saw it off that pallet so that I could use it inside my tent and I did that by hand and that was just a big mistake that <laughs> it held me back for a couple days afterwards doing doing heavy work so this this is well I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how amazing this gift is going to be and so thank you again to Doug and Ashley Bell and Maverick <coughs> I'm getting choked up here over at out in the country so I can't wait to put this to use. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so next week. <laughs> While I'm on the subject, I might as well try to thank a bunch of other people. Uh, when I was back in Muhammad, still dreaming of this place and working towards this goal of, of having my own place, I got a lot of help from people I went to uh, went to school with, um, and just I can't say thank you enough. I really can't. Uh, Amy and Rob and Tyra and Matt and uh, Maya and Amy and another Amy and another Rob and and all my uh, fraternity brother friends. Um, Rob and Rob and Dave and Dave and Mick and and another Dave <laughs> uh, and Michael and Lou and and Jeff and uh, all of my Delta Sigma Phi brothers um, and then people from college uh, you know Shannon and Mark and um, I'm leaving so many people out. And then we get to the YouTube world and the Pratt Family Homestead. Um, you know, their, their contests that got me started. And then Dan and Ashley over at the Grassfed Homestead. They have sent me so many new subscribers and, and been supportive and, and given advice. And, and I've just loved watching their channel also. Uh, and then so many other channels. Rose at Wholesome Roots. Uh, and I haven't linked this, so I'm going to do a card up there. Rose at Wholesome Roots did a video on some of her inspirations. And I just, um, I have no words. I can't say thank you enough. That's another instance where I just, I just can't say thank you enough. So go have a look at that video. Who else has helped me? Uh, Rain Country gave me a shout out, helping me get to a thousand subscribers. And Blake Kirby. The Texas boys have just been uh, amazingly supportive with their, with their, you know, time and comments and and so yes, the Texas boys have a look at them. Who else am I forgetting? All the channels: Uncle Hoss, uh, Coco Noel. Um, uh, see, I'm gonna leave so many people out that I just I can't say thank you enough, and I'm just. I'm looking around here, I've got the Gorilla Car was a gift, that camera was a gift, 
I've got the gifts here. What else do I have that was a gift? Um, my little lights. My little um, uh, sidewalk light things. Uh, uh, my sister. Thank you to my sister and her husband and, and uh, daughter and granddaughter. And, and that was a huge help. Just a huge help. Um, a gas grill my sister gave me. The kitchen sink my sister gave me. My relatives in Russellville. Uh, I've gotten uh, fencing, um, garden hose, uh, just um, tools. Uh, thank you to my neighbor. He's lent me a post hole digger and, and uh, given me all kinds of free stuff. Thanks to my other neighbor. I've gotten those tarps and boards and and cardboard and uh, the list could just go on and on. The rug in my room, Scott and Dana. There's another another thank you. Um, uh, the wood chipper, which I haven't used yet. I want to get a good big pile and and put that into use. Uh, the chainsaw my sister gave me. There are just so many th all the books and the seeds. Uh, you guys, I just, I can't say thank you enough. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, and if I didn't name you, I'm sorry. I, I should have, I should be keeping a list. That's what I should be doing. I should be keeping a list. But I just thank you. And I can't say thank you enough. So have a good weekend, everybody. As I was watching the video, I thought of more, and I probably still haven't thought of everybody, but John and Connie from high school, and uh, Matt, again, if I haven't, uh, uh, Tom and Maria, uh, commenters, Virginia and Alice and Miss Judy, and uh, other YouTube channels, River Mountain Homestead, they've... They've given me a shout out and, and sent some people my way. And they're here in Arkansas. I love their channel. Go check out River Mountain Homestead. Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. He sent me the wonderful honey, which I've only dipped into once. <laughs> I'll start. I'll start. Shut up, Jeff. And Renate uh, sending me seeds all the way from Germany. Um, oh, Cindy and Mike at Part-Time Permies. Oh, I got some wonderful pasta from them, and I've still got some of that left, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let's see, um, whoever sent me the Man of the Year mirror, I still don't know who sent that, but thank you. Um, let's see, Recycled Cottage and Garden uh, sent me a bunch of stuff for my kitchen. Uh, Jason at Cog Hill Farm and Homestead sent me the kill cones and some seminal pumpkin seeds and and he sent people my way. Uh, let's see, Chicken Wolf Ranch has has, has uh, uh, been helpful and supportive all this time. Gilbrook Farm, they're, they're uh, Gilbrook. What a great channel, Gilbrook Farm, and they they upload almost all of my Instagram pictures. Let's see. Grizz270, how many shout outs has Grizz270 given me? I don't know, but thank you Grizz, uh, I, I, I appreciate it, thank you. Jesse James Homestead up in Minnesota, Not all, uh, he's given me shout outs a few times and that's just a great channel. Him and Candy are just uh, full of information and, and oh, 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 cooking and, and goats and uh, that's where Chicken TV came from, and uh, so Jesse James Homestead, let's see, Patty Rose, Life Happens, uh, Kristen Rad uh, gave me a shout out recently, um, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, they played my, my intro, and, and so I got some, got some people from that, uh, Teal House, uh, Teal House Farm in Missouri, and I, I wish they would do more videos, but I they got kids. I, I never understand. I don't know how anybody with kids does this YouTube stuff. You're all amazing out there. And still, I'm leaving people out, so I just I just can't say thank you enough.